Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Well, we've moved it, we've set it up, we've showed it off, we've rubbed it, we've greased it, we've done everything we can to it. I know what you're thinking. Is he ever going to cook on that? But today is our first cook, and we're doing ribs. I confess, I'll come clean. All right, I blew it. I blew the first part of the video. The uh, rib preparation, uh, apparently setting up the camera, I must have turned it on. So when I went to turn it on to record, I actually turned it off and vice versa. So I got a lot of nice footage of the floor and the walls and me setting up and you know all that stuff. But uh, the real fun stuff, I guess I missed. So uh, the video you're going to watch is going to pick up from the hour and 45 minute mark. Rookie mistake number one, make sure your camera's on. Your videos will come out a lot better. Rookie mistake number two, make sure you have your recordings before you move on to the next part of your video. Rookie mistake number three through 50, I'll reserve those for the next 10 videos. I prepared the ribs pretty simply. I just rinsed them off, pulled the membranes off the backs of them, uh, give them a rub down with some Zach's Sweet Rub. Uh, we get this at the local grocery store. Put them in the refrigerator for about an hour. That's how long it took the pit to come up to temperature. And then put them on the pit. All right, we've been about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, time to check the progress, see how this is looking. Uh, bottom right, we're looking at about uh, 275. Top center, uh, right at 225. Left bottom, we're at about uh, 240. So the grill's been holding its temperature very well. Uh, let's check the meat, see how it looks. I got a mixture here of apple cider vinegar and water, about a 50-50. We'll just give these a quick, quick moistening down. Everything nice and moist. I think we'll probably let these go maybe another 30 minutes. I'll check them. Maybe switch a couple of these around. This one here on the right will turn a little bit warmer than the rest of them. The color looks really good. It seems to be managing the smoke very well. All right, we'll be back in an hour, maybe 30, 30 minutes. All right, we just added another log onto the fire. Uh, holding this temperature pretty well, but I just want to point out this seals on this pit. I am just in love with this pit. It's just amazing me. No smoke leaks around the door. Nothing around the top lid. No leaks around the doors. I mean, this is metal on metal. No gaskets. It's just unbelievable that that thing can hold that kind of smoke. No leaks. Not even around the big door. As you can see, we do have smoke coming out. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Got a nice blue smoke coming out. I just can't stop bragging about this pit. Y'all have been on the fence about a pit, ready to take the plunge, buy your last pit. Check out Lone Star Grill. All right, it's been about two and a half hours. Check these out. Well, those are looking nice. We're running a little hotter on the right side than the left, so I'm gonna rotate these around a little bit. Got a little ways yet. Right? Got a nice color on them. Tightening up a little bit. Don't see any drawback from the bone yet. So we're just gonna let them go some more. We'll see that juice. Wow. We'll give them another spritz. Again, this is just apple cider vinegar and water, about half and half. Just keep a little moisture on them. Keep them drying out. 
Alright, we'll check them again in about 30 minutes. Uh, maybe this will be time to wrap them. Alright, it's been about three and a half hours. Let's see how these look. They look good enough to eat to me. A little bit of bone. Pull back on the bone. I'd say these are ready to wrap. Just a little bit of cracking starting. I think we want to wrap these, tender them up a little bit. Yep, these are ready. We'll be right back. I'm going to add a little moisture to these, wrap them up real tight. We don't want to leave any more air in there than we have to. We don't want them to steam. We want them to tender up. Put just a little bit of moisture in there. Kind of help it along. Just about out, it looks like. So it is what it is. We'll let those go. I will come back in an hour and check them. I think we're going to add some potatoes to the mix too. All right, it's been about an hour and 40 minutes. Let's check to see how done they are. I'm thinking they should be about ready. Try this one here. Oh yeah, really feeling good. Yeah, I call these finished. Get a good pull back on the bones. Like you got one here coming loose. Yeah, these are ready. Ready to be sauced. Maybe a little overdone for competition, but this is backyard cooking here. This is the way we like it here. Alright, let's get the rest of them unwrapped and we'll sauce them. Alright, we don't get real fancy around here. This is what we seem to like the best at our table. Regular masterpiece, original. I like to take a little of that, put a little in a bowl, and I like to thin it just a little bit. A little bit of gin bean. Any bourbon of your choice. There you go. It doesn't take much. Believe me, all that alcohol will burn off. Everybody be wondering, what is that? Mix it in real good. Let's get some on these ribs. Move the camera up. I'm gonna put a little on here. Leave it on some heat, let it set. Pop it on there real good. Put 
put just enough on there to give it a nice shine, make it look good. Make them a little bit sticky, that's the way I like them. Let those go about 15 20 minutes and get good and sticky, then we'll pull them dry. All right, it's been about 30 minutes since we glazed these, so let's check them out and see how they look. Look at that! That looked pretty good to me. Starting to tack up pretty good. Maybe give them another 10 minutes. Nice and sticky. Yeah, I snuck on a piece of sausage when y'all weren't looking. So, we'll come back in 10 minutes and pull these. Let them rest. We're going to go ahead and pull them off. Let them rest for about 15. That's the best part, we're going to eat them. Look at the color. I'm going to wrap these loose. You don't want them to sweat. We'll be right back. These ribs rested about 15 minutes. Look at that color. Total cook time is about six hours. If I remember right, we cooked, uh, we smoked for about three hours, wrapped them up for about an hour and a half, glazed them, let them set, maybe five and a half hours, five and a half to six, something like that. It was almost pretty, too pretty to tear up, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's cut into some of these. Oh yeah, those look great. Down right here where you can see it. That really, really nice. Juicy. You see that? I think we did okay for the first cook. All right, let's see how we did here. Nice bark. Juicy. 
Can't really tell there's bourbon there, but there's a little something. You can't quite put your finger on it. Maybe a little bit overcooked, but that's the way I like them. I appreciate you taking the time today to check us out. Like us if you like what you saw. Subscribe would be nice. We'd appreciate that. Young channel. Not sure which direction we're going with this, but leave comments below and let me know what you think. I kind of read every one of those young channels, so I'll try to answer everything that I can. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.